Hello viewers, welcome to computer networking class. So in previous video, we had studied about module 3 which is network layer. Now in this video, we will be talking about wireless and mobile networks. So till now, we had studied about wired networks. Now in this module, we will be talking about wireless networks and their functions. So our first topic is cellular internet access which is based on a technology named as GSM which is global system for mobile communications and it was introduced in early 90s and it is classified into several generations named as 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G. So 1G was implemented on FDMA means frequency division multiple access and it rarely use, is, is used in real scenario and it is extinct also. So the evolved part of 1G is 2G which supports digital voice and the updated part of 2G was 2.5G which also supports packet data with that telephony part and then 3G came which introduces the whole packet part and it is implemented in parallel with that 2G GSM system. So as you can see here it is 2G GSM type of implementation in which there are base transceiver stations these towers as you can see that these are base transceiver station these are mobile nodes and these are bsc means base station controller and they are connected to msc which is called mobile switching center and again they are connected to gateway msc and with the gateway msc these are connected to public telephone network so one by one I will tell you what are the functions of these network entities. So base transceiver station as the name suggests it is transceiver. It will receive the data from the BSC and send it to the mobile network or mobile node. And also vice versa means it will take the signal or data from the mobile node and send it to the BSC and then to MSC from MSC it will go to uh, pu uh, public telephone network with the help of gateway MSC. So what is the function of MSC? It's, uh, it connects several BSCs up to 5 BSCs it can connect or we can say it can connect 200 subs subscribers at max. What is the function of BSC? So it performs paging. Paging means to uh, to take out the cell so these are uh, these hexagonal cells and paging means to finding in which cell the mobile node is located okay so as you can see that this mobile is located in this hexagon so it is given uh, it is implemented by bscs and is taken out by bsc and it also allocates radio channel as you can see that base station controllers function is that it performs paging and then it performs radio channel also it performs handoff so handoff means if one mobile node wants to visit from one cell to another cell it is be uh, it is controlled by bsc now as we had seen that msc mobile switching centers function is that it plays central role in authorization accounting call establishment and also in tear down and handoff phase so call establishment is done by mobile switching center, some parts of authorization for the call and for the callee and the mobile node and then tear down means after the completion of call tear down has to be made and for visiting from one cell to another cell handoff is to be performed. So these are done by mobile switching centers. So at max 200k subscribers are allowed and then there came 3G means cellular data networks. So the uh, the designers of 3G implement the packet uh, data part in parallel to the telephony part with that 2G GSM. So here as you can see that this is 2G GSM part and parallelly there are some network entities which are implemented by 3G designers and packet data is included. So here there is a difference between BSC and radio network controller and uh, this 
whole is called base station system in 2G GSM. Now in this 3G, it is called as radio access network. And there are two new network entities, means serving GPRS support nodes and gateway GPRS support nodes. So what are their functions? I'm talking about SGSN first. So SGSN is responsible for delivering datagram to the mobile nodes in the radio access network. So firstly, it will deliver the packet from the public network to the mobile nodes. And also it will interact with the MSC through radio network controller. Also, it will perform handoff maintaining locations and authorization type of functions. And the GGSN function is only, it will work as gateway between public internet and SGSN. So for the outside world, it looks like any other gateway router. So these are the functions of SGSN and GGSN. For, uh, by implementing that, we can support the packet data to the 2G GSM, which is called 3G core network. So talking about 3G radio access network, so 3G radio access network is the wireless first hop network for a 3G user. So as you can see that this is first hop router for any of the mobile nodes. Okay. And then what is the function of radio network controller? So it typically controls several cell based transceiver station similar to that base station that we have encountered in 2G systems. And also it connects both MSC providing the voice network and SGSN through which it provides data. So it uh, acts as interface between telephony and data network. And wireless lines operates between the mobile nodes and a base transceiver station. In place of GSM's FDMA and TDMA, so as you can see that in 2G network, it uses FDMA and TDMA. Now in 3G OMTS, it uses CDMA technique known as direct sequence CDMA. So it is also called as DSCDMA. Now in next video, we will be talking about 4G LTE. Till then, thank you.